you're having a good week, my name is Sarah and today I want to read you a story about grumbling and being a bit bored. We've all felt that a little, haven't we? Especially maybe in the last coming weeks or months. But today I want to tell you a story that shows that the people of Egypt were also bored and grumbling about being in the desert with no food or water. And the title of the story is Moses in the Desert and it's from a book in the Bible called Exodus chapter 16 and 17. Are we all ready? Sitting comfortably? Okay. Moses in the desert. Led by Moses, the people walked for weeks across the desert to their new land. They soon had forgotten they'd been slaves in Egypt. They were hungry and grumbled. We should have stayed in Egypt. We had plenty of food there. Remember all the good things we had to eat, they said. We had meat and bread melons, onions and cucumbers. It would have been better to be in Egypt than die of hunger in the desert. God heard the people grumbling and said to Moses, tell the people I will give them meat to eat every evening and bread every morning. That evening, flocks of bird called quails landed on people's tents and were easy to catch. So that night everyone ate roasted quail. In the morning, the ground was covered with small white seeds. They looked just like frost. The people collected them, ground them into flour, made it into bread and baked it. They called it manna because it was food which came from heaven. It was very good to eat and tasted like honey. Every day, the same thing happened. The people ate bread made of manna in the morning and roasted quails in the evening. On the sixth day, Moses told them to collect enough food for two days. This was so they wouldn't have to work on the seventh day, the Sabbath, but would keep it as a holy day of rest. Now the people had plenty to eat, but they soon grew short of water. They were thirsty and started to grumble again. We should have stayed in Egypt rather than die of thirst in the desert. Moses prayed to God, what shall I do with these people, he asked. They are almost ready to kill me. Take your stick and walk ahead of the people. Then strike a rock with your stick. Moses said to, God said to Moses. Moses did as God told him. And when he struck the rock, a great stream of water gushed out. There was plenty of fresh water for everyone. God looked after the Hebrew people all the years they lived in the desert. He sent them food when they were hungry and water when they were thirsty. How amazing was that? That even when we're hungry and thirsty, that God provides for us. Because God always provides things when we're grumbling and the things that we need. We are so thankful when, for when God does these things. So on Sunday, we are going to make some baskets to collect the things we're thankful for in. So for me, I'm going to put in God and his provision. I'm very thankful for that. I'm also very thankful for my friends and family. And I'm also very thankful at the moment for safety and being nice and well. And it's also got our memory verse on it, which we'll learn more about on Sunday. So come and join us for Connected at 11.15 and Connected Plus at 12 on Zoom. I hope you can join us and I hope to 